header record then we'll see what are these different type of volumes okay so what are the uh, volume types again in a in a storage we discussed about storage types yesterday evening we discussed storage types what are the storage types dash san nas right direct attached storage network attached storage storage area network three things we discuss right dash san nas that is storage types uh, okay and uh, before that one disk types sata disk pata disk sorry starting is pata disk sata disk parallel advanced technology attachment serial advanced technology attachment 40 pin 7 pin now we are using sata connections right so sata type of disk pata type of disk scsi disk scsi scsi disk small computer system interface type of disk sas disk means serial attached scsi disk because scsi is a separate type of disk it is it look like normal hard disk but the connection and as well as a multiple uh, devices we can connect it to scsi controller so it is a scsi disk earlier we used a parallel bus now we are using a serial bus because of serial attachment so it is a sas disk serial attached scsi disk now for storing an operating system either server os or a desktop os uh, or anything just we are using a ssds now because faster booting speed faster application loading is you can achieve with the ssds so that is what i am trying to say okay in ssd also sata interface and uh, also we have a uh, nvme.m.2 so that is a disk types okay so disk device locations uh, we discussed about a device location where we store the data storage locations different places we store the data right so like that is also we discuss so where we store the data in a hard disk we store scsi disk ssds pen drives memory cards right uh, uh, network storages like in as and sand storages or maybe cloud storages dat storages like that different places we store the data i'm going from down to up <laughs> okay so different type of uh, things like a mbr type and gpt type of disk mbr give four primary uh, or a three primary uh, one extended okay and a maximum one partition is two terabytes of single partition maximum support and it comes to the uh, gpt it is uefi supported okay and uh, gid partition table 128 primary partitions no extended partitions required so it is because of 128 primary support is there and more than 2 terabytes of disk partition support is there basic disk and a dynamic disk basic disk is usually for okay so we'll come back to basic disk okay so i'm going to file system when you create a partition so you have to tell what is the file system so we say format format means defining a file system we are formatting a drive meaning is we are defining a file system or redefining a file system redefining or defining a file system so what are the file system in windows fat and ntfs fat and ntfs and ex fat and refs also there from microsoft windows itself so fat is a older uh, file system we are using file allocation table maximum is 32 GB partition size NTFS is up to 2 terabyte and more than 2 terabytes also it will support depends upon NTFS version Windows XP NTFS version support 2 terabyte but later it will support more than that one usually like 18 EB at current as for the current uh, one so 18 EB uh, for a one single partition Okay, 18 EB is a single NTFS partition. Support up to 2 terabytes and more than 2 terabytes. So 18 EB for a NTFS partition. Okay, next. Um, 
NTF has provided certain features, quota, encryption, compression, indexing, and one more what is that is uh, yeah, security. Okay, these are the features of NTFS. REFS resilient file system. So you store a data in the drive, and uh, of course, um, it may data may be corrupt while your data is accessing by multiple people or maybe same user, same applications, but data possibility of corruption is there. So what to do? So better store the data into the REFS formatted uh, things, uh, drives. So REFS will create a CRC on the data. So cyclic redundancy check, okay, is the algorithm. It will create a code uh, on a data. So it will verify the data, whether data is safe are corrupted. <clears throat> so we can re generate the data using a CRC also because we can correct the corrupted data also like we can protect the data from corruption. So many statements are there. So whatever it is REFS to keep the data safely, but REFS don't give NTFS features like a quota security permissions are not there only to keep the data safely. EXFAT is another hand fat as a limited uh, uh, size is a 32 GB, but EXFAT support more than 32 GB. Usually for your memory cards, pen drives, uh, SD cards. OK, so then we use EXFAT because your SD cards nowadays 64 GB, 128 GB, 256 GB uh, sizes are there. So you want to store big files and in a and big memory sizes. So go for a X fact. That is a new file system. Now finally we are came to basic disk and dynamic disk. So that is also we discussed yesterday. Now we are discussing that one. You want to create a simple volume. We need a basic disk only. OK, so in a basic disk, what is a basic disk to we create a simple partitions in the basic disk. We create a simple partition. So you have a single hard disk and we create a simple partition like uh, again we can say you have a disk you divide a disk into small parts you have a disk and you divide the disk into small parts called partitions so that we that is we can do in a basic disk that is we can do in a basic disk so generally in a basic disk we can install windows operating systems applications and regular usage purpose basic disk only we are using never convert basic disk to dynamic disk okay so don't do it so you can convert basic to dynamic without losing the data but you cannot roll back from basic to dy uh, dynamic to basic without losing data so to convert dynamic to basic you have to delete all the partitions you have to completely clean the disk that is very dangerous so don't do it so second point is again Basic disk is regular disk, regular disk only, and for a, a, we can create a partitions. That's it. We can divide a single disk into multiple partitions. That's a basic disk. So dynamic disk. When you are combining one one disk to another disk, like you combine a two disk together and become a large volume, or you want to create a two or more disk and create a redundancy volumes. So in that cases, when you are combining more than one disk, create a single volume. OK, so understand guys partition means single disk divided into small drives like a 500 GB hard disk. You divide like a 100 GB drive, 200 GB drive or 50 GB drive. So that is called partition. OK, so if in case you have a one terabyte of hard disk. You have another one terabyte of hard disk. You combine together become two terabyte. That is called volume. Combination of two or more disk. Called uh, volumes to create a volume. You have to convert your basic disk to dynamic disk. OK, to create a volumes. You have to convert your basic disk to dynamic. So these are the different volume types. Simple volume is basic disk volume only. So 
simple volume simple volume means simple partition it is a simple partition not a combination it's a simple part but spanned volume stripped volume mirror ride five these are all a combination of multiple disk this is dividing it is this is a combination combined combined disk so remember so simple volume is is like a earlier days we call it as a partition disk partitions this is a simple volume so volume days the word is as a create a partition new partition simple partition like that words are there it's a disk partition simple volume is this partition this is a single disk okay, divide into multiple right this is a simple volume remaining remaining are remaining are like a spanned volume stripped volume are a combination of two or more disk okay. remaining or combination of two or more disk okay so that is also keep it in mind so i will explain this so one first one is a spanned volume i will explain um, before going to spanned volume guys are you getting or i am speaking to myself only without your mm-hmm. consent getting i am speaking to myself okay. no sir okay, okay so if i am going to myself only uh, it's like uh, you know like my meaning is i am telling but you are not able to understand so if in that cases i i, I forget about you i speaking to myself only please uh, tell me then i will come back and i will explain again okay so simple volume is dividing a disk into multiple parts okay next one is spanned volume that's why i am going jump to the spanned volume okay guys what happened here i have a 1 terabyte of disk okay now the disk is full now disk is about to full my disk entire disk is dedicated to the d drive for example just for example understanding okay my entire disk is dedicated for d drive the entire disk i given 1 terabyte full data is there full data access is there so users are accessing data from my d drive okay enter d drive so 1 terabyte of disk now it is about to full what to do okay so if you buy a 2 terabyte again i have to transfer entire data to 2 terabyte uh, okay again i will get a 1 terabyte left so i can change that's again time taken for example you put a, another 2 terabyte separately i have already 1 terabyte data is there add a 2 terabyte of disk so then it become another drive right everybody knows how to access d drive there is a folder in the d drive the people are putting a data inside now you are putting separate drive then it become e drive or maybe f drive maybe z drive separate drive right so it is separate not same so then big problem so i can take 1 plus 2 become 3 terabytes but drives are different so i have to store this folder or i have to store that folder like this things will be changes so what we can able to do is there is a concept called a spanned volume okay so we combine these two disk together we combine these two disk together and become single volume totally 3 terabytes the drive letter or folder names are not changing here so it is a drive letter is d drive only there is a folder that is folder only you store a data and access data from totally 3 terabytes so we can combine equal or unequal 
sizes of the drives equal and unequal drives we can able to it so this type of volume we call it is a spanned volume uh, one second why i'm getting doubt right only it's called a spanned volume so this is simple volume means one disk we create a multiple partitions it is two disk combined like a disk zero disk one combined it is become a spanned volume and become single volume no redundancy okay so no redundancy one disk failure total data loss another pile this okay it's a combination of so combine is easy word so combine two or more disk two or more disk become single large volume okay so we'll get a total disk size sorry total volume size total volume size is your total disk size not a disk size disk size means how many disk are there disk 0 disk 1 combination so actually you have to i have put a disk 1 disk 2 okay. this is disk 1 disk 2 because disk 0 is a os drive okay first drive so disk 1 disk 2 span volume of course we have to write no disk failure no disk failure means if any disk total data loss okay. total data loss are we can't access the data or we can say cannot access Not access data. Okay. Simple volume, spanned volume. Guys, understand spanned volume. So combining two disk. So one more point in the spanned volume is we can take. same size or different sizes size of this okay so this is simple volume and spanned volume before going to this stripped mirror and all so we will uh, discuss few things we have to discuss okay so i will come back to the span volume so before going to this i have to tell one important point first of all that is write volumes okay i will write for span volume once we talk, complete the topic one by one again we will write so completely we should remember okay <laughs> so you have any time so we have to tell an answer about it guys first of all i want to tell about ride ride means redundant array of independent disk or inexpansive disk inexpansive disk ride is a not movie so ride levels okay so you have to check this ride levels so what is the different type of raid levels these are uh, raid levels but i want a abbreviation 
when I put a ride, so obviously, uh, um, you will get a, uh, so yeah, very good. Okay. So I want a abbreviation only. Ride is a redundant array of independent disk array in a spansu disk. Okay, ride concept. Redundant. Okay, how it is redundancy and all, we'll see that one. So this is a um, point here. Redundant array of independent disk or in a spansu disk. Redundant array of in a spansu disk also there. Okay, independent disk or in a spansu disk. So we take independent disk and become an array means combine independent disk together and we create a redundancy in it. Okay, so in a ride, there is a levels are there before levels. We go to hardware ride. Okay. Usually people won't go to that much of depth because they think you don't have any idea. Some people want it to go to that point because of they think you don't know anything. <laughs> there is a problem in interviews in any place, not only interview guys, uh, any place when it is come for a uh, higher to lower means uh, I have a 10 years experience. I thought my junior is a uh, very less knowledge person. Okay, that is common. Uh, okay, so like you don't know anything. I am not very well because of uh, I'm a welder. I, I know I learn a lot of things. I have a lot of knowledge. I, I think you don't know anything. It is not at all true. It is everybody has their own knowledge. Okay, so, so we, we never compare one person knowledge to another compare. The only thing is our, our thing is you have to learn. That's the only one thing, you know, that's the point here. Some people don't want to ask you because you don't know what is this meaning of this right and all. Okay, some people wanted to ask you because they think you don't know anything. <laughs> you, if you are not able to give an answer, they can tell you are able to give an answer. You don't know this much also. Okay, so whatever it is, guys, you must know when things you will get to know that you will know it. Okay, hardware ride, it is based on Ride controller. There is a ride controller. It is like a adapter or interface. It can be a adapter or an interface. Okay. It is an adapter or an interface. Okay. It can be an adapter or an interface card. Interface. Interface means interface card kind of stuff. Adapter or interface card. Okay. It is built in as the adapter or a regular server motherboard. Okay. It's a Simply through hardware, it's a hardware device. You can control it, so you can you can go to this ride. Okay, go to images. You can type hardware ride there. Then we can see these are a, a, a ride disk are inserted. Okay, and this is a ride movie. <laughs> okay, this is directly ride disk are there. The inside a hardware, inside their hardware, like a SAN or NAS disk inside a SAN or a NAS uh, boards are there, no? So inside the data center, there is a ride controllers are inside. Okay, see so ride controllers. This is a ride controller. We can insert a disk and we can configure a ride on it directly. We can configure a ride on it. So that is ride controller is there. So the controller means it can be a an adapter or interface card or maybe it is a inbuilt in 
SCSI card. You insert a SCSI card, it comes with a SCSI card internally. A ride can be there. Or a server motherboard directly on motherboard also there. Some motherboards. Okay, if world index is there. It's like that. Okay. Now we can't see anything. Okay. Because very costly, no one is showing like this is a server motherboard. Okay. So ride uh, is a hardware ride. What is software ride? We can manage ride with a, any kind of storage based applications. That is called a software ride. So you can use inside a Linux or Unix. Install ride uh, package and manage that can able to do it. Next important is in Windows Server built in feature is there. Okay, built in features. So you can directly open disk management, you'll get it. Okay, this is the software, right? Okay, direct built in feature directly how you open a disk management. So there we can directly we can do it. So in Windows, there is a built in feature of okay feature using disk management. We can manage. We can manage software, right? You guys understand ride means hardware ride, software ride kind of stuff. There is a ask. Yes, do you understand ride hardware ride and software ride? Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Very good. Very good. Whenever it is come to the ride, the important question means it's generally question is when it is come to the ride, the ride levels are there. Ride levels are there. So ride level, ride zero. Ride one. Ride five. Okay, so ride six. Ride uh, one zero. Ride five zero like this. Okay, different ride levels are there. Ride zero, ride one, ride five kind of stuff. Okay, so I will explain in a pictorial manner. Then I will come back to explain this one. So then, if possible, I will try to show you in a practical manner. But actually, practical will uh, means theory also will killing the time. But clear explanation is required. So then we'll see. Guys, I have a disk. It's a same like a spanned volume, no difference. But spanned volume is not a part of not a part of ride. Not a part of ride levels. Okay, here is we can also take two or more devices. Okay, same concept. So this is also like a, I have taken a disk one, disk two. Okay, the main drive is maybe like a D drive or E drive, whatever it is. We combine two disks together, but here we should take equal sizes. 1 TB, 1 TB, equal sizes you have to take it. It is a ride level 0, also called as stripped volume. So instead of telling what is stripped volume and all, so I told what is stripped volume is, it is a ride 0 level. And it is called a stripped volume. So what is this? Combination of two disks, and we will get a one single large volume. Okay. 
same concept of span but little difference is there it is also a combined combination we have to write two or more days become single large volume single large volume same concept so total volume size is equal to total disk size okay no disk failure no disk failure if any disk fail cannot access data data last okay cannot access data or are data last also we can able to tell okay so last point here it is um m this volume size should be volume size not same disk volume says same volume size there's a lot of conditions are there i am telling in a disk manner i am telling in a disk manner so disk manner okay so this is simple volume stripped volume uh, again actually my previous pictures will easily occupy the screen but now it is become a very less space so we'll little try to adjust this space on okay guys there is uh, if any any disk is failure we can't able to access the data right but it increase the speed of read and writing a data it increase speed of a reading writing a data stripped volume size increases speed increases both are there normally when we are discuss about a write levels we don't talk about the speed but here it is write zero is a speed is high but no redundancy okay but no redundancy means no disk failure kind of stuff this is also same thing okay same like a 1 terabyte 1 terabyte will take it take it next you know guys last time we got an issue in a pune office itself okay so what happened our front desk uh, is there front office computer is there so what happened the disk got damaged luckily we have a backup right is not a uh, uh, remedy for backup guys please uh, try to understand right is not a remedy for backup so right is a uh, um, just immediate access for us okay there's Pictures. Okay, so point is, uh, the disk is not working. Immediately, you can't able to access the data. We have a backup, but backup restoration will take time. But immediately, we don't have any uh, kind of data backup. Sorry, immediately we can't able to access. So what is the solution actually? This solution. What is it? Whatever the data we store, same data will store in a other disk so this concept is mirror what is mirror um, okay it is a right one also called as mirror volume what is mirror volume so two disks we combine okay we combine 
only two days. Okay, we'll combine a two disk. Okay, so we'll get a single disk volume only. Okay, the total volume we are getting, we're getting. Okay, so single disk volume only. It is a single disk failure. Without again another point is came parity without parity. What is without parity kind of stuff? I will explain in a ride five, but here it is single disk failure. It means if any of the disk is failure, still no problem. You can able to access the data. For example, I have a computer. I my my uh, I'm working in a front office. My accounts company accounts information is there basic small organization i have a data in my hard disk today excel sheets documents are there okay so what happened if disk is failure i can't access okay it difficult to restore from the uh, uh, sometimes from the backup right so what i will do so customer is came he wanted some slip he want some printout uh, you want to see how much spending. I, I, I said like I don't have a data. Then what he will tell. Why you don't have a data? You're stealing a lot of money like this. This is few things will come up, right? So, so what you have to do better create a mirror disk. OK, it better to create a mirror disk. What is a mirror disk? It is a two hard disk combined. We'll get a single disk volume only. So total disk. Uh, total volume size is single disk volume. Volume size is nothing but a single disk. Sing single disk volume only. Okay, so one terabyte plus one terabyte is one terabyte. Two terabyte plus two terabyte is two terabyte. Okay, so this is single volume. So 50% of total volume is reduced. The size of this total volume is one terabyte only. One terabyte plus one terabyte is one terabyte. Two plus two is two. Four plus four is four. Five plus five is five. Like that it will be there. So meaning is it's a mirror volume guys. One single disk failure. Still no problem. You can able to access the data. If single disk failure without a parity. Meaning is. If any one disk, only one disk, any one disk failure, okay, we can be able to access data. No problem. Again, power cut. Okay. Single disk failure. Guys, understand ride one? Yes, sir. So, yes. very good. So, we don't have a space here to uh, do anything, also. So, we don't have a much space. Uh, I have not done proper planning. That's why space uh, last. So we'll do it from here. I'll, I will move my diagram here. So earlier I, I've taken this class, but suddenly I add this spanned volume unnecessarily. I don't like the spanned volume. Next one is ride five. Remember ride zero is for normal organization, not for enterprise. It is not an enterprise solution. Okay, right five is an enterprise solution. That is the thing. Uh, right five. So disk one, disk two, disk three. Okay, disk one, disk two, disk three.
Okay, whatever it is, it convey the message. So it's a only volume. P volume or D volume, whatever it is. So volume drive letter. So what I'm trying to say is it is a write five. Write five don't have any other name. So it is a write five volume only. Okay, it is a write five volume. So again, similar sizes you have to take it. Ride means it is a similar sizes you have to take it. Okay, similar sizes you have to take it. So this is ride five volume. Combination of three or more disk. It is a combination of three or more disk. Okay. Combination combine th or e three or more disk. Mostly we use three disk. Okay, three disk. More disk means again volume little numbering is changes. Okay. Okay. So combine three or more disk. That is one. Next total volume size. You get a dot two by three. Two by three means you are combining three disks, right? So two by three of uh, total disk volume size. Total disk size two by three means you take one terabyte, one terabyte, one terabyte. So how much you will get it is two terabyte. Okay. Two disk volume size. Two disk volume size. Okay. Two disk volume size. Two means it is instead of this is one you can say two disk volume size. Okay. Just try to understand. I've already written now, so then you can change. We'll get a. It is a single disk failure. With parity. What is this with the parity and all? We'll see that. Next. Single disk failure with parity. Here it is. If any one disk failed, you can be able to access data. Both are same, right? But only is there we use two disk, we'll get a one disk volume. Here we use minimum three disk, we are getting two disk volume. Okay, so this is one. Okay, so then what is this parity and why what is the difference between this and all? We'll see. It. So guys, listen very carefully. In mirror, whatever the data is there, the same data will be written into another disk okay so what are the data in the disk same data written into another disk that is ride one okay that's a no parity kind of stuff it means what are the disk data is there same data is stored here in the second if one of the disk is failure if one of the disk is failure no problem other disk will give you data but because of same data is copying into another one we are getting only single disk volume out of two, one by two volume only. We are getting, you are getting one by two size of total volume, total disk volume. You are getting. Okay, next. In a write five, in a write five, what happens? Whatever the data is written in one of the disk, the data's parity which stores in the other disk. Understand data parity bits. What is parity bits? It's nothing but a binary bits. You have a data. The data have is converted into binary format, right? So it's in a binary. That binary parity will be created. It's a uh, uh, it's a kind of extraction from data or a combination data is there. So like for compression and all, we use this kind of technique. Okay. So it is a kind of stuff like I have a one 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 one. So how many ones are there? 
five ones are there. They will put like this. Okay, it is a it's a kind of compressing data, or it's a technique to compress the data or create a a opposite uh, word kind of stuff also there. Okay, so like uh, parity kind of stuff will be created. So very simply to understand, whenever a data is written into a disk, any of the three disks, any of the three disks having a data, the data's parity bit store in other disk. Data's parity bits stores in other disk. What is the advantage of this one? What is the advantage of this one is, for example, my disk two is damaged. My disk two is damaged. What I have done? I went to the my server, I removed my disk two, insert a new disk, insert a new disk. Then automatically data will be regenerated to this disk from the other disk. From other disk, data will be regenerated. Data will be regenerated. So that is why write is more powerful than a mirror. Mirror is for a simple organization for a single computer or a, a normal uh, solution only. But ride is an enterprise solution. OK, so what is the advantage of it? It contains a parity. We'll get a more volume out of three disk size. You are getting two disk size, two terabyte, two terabyte, two terabyte. You got four terabytes volume size. One advantage is second. Because of the parity, data is also written into other disk in the parity format. Now, if one disk is failure, still we can able to access the data. A single disk is failure, still we can able to access the data. First one. Second one is, if a disk is failure, you remove the disk and replace the disk with a new disk. It regenerates the data into that disk. Okay, and mirror. Mirror will broke in that condition like a disk is failure in mirror. If a disk is failure, you remove the disk and replace the disk with a new one. Mirror will broke. Mirror will broke. Again, guys, we'll come to from starting. Ride zero, ride one, ride five. Next one is I will tell ride six. We don't have a space. Okay, so then I will tell that one in a notepad only. But important is write zero, write one, write five. Write zero is a stripped volume. Write zero is a stripped volume. Combination of two or more disks become a single large disk. It is no redundancy, no parity kind of stuff. No redundancy, no parity. It is no disk failure. If disk is failure, we can't able to access data or total data loss. Mirror volume. Combination of two disks only. So we can't combine more disks. We can combine two disks only. Combination of two disks, and we are getting single disk volume only. Data in the disk. Data is written into one disk. It is same data will copy into another disk. We can't see that kind of stuff, but data is written into both the disk. Okay, both the disk contains same data. If one of the disk is failure, no problem. We can able to access the data. If we replace the disk with a new disk. Mirror will be broken, but important is the disk is failure. Still, we can able to access the data without a parity means no parity bits are created here. So both disk are maintaining same data. Okay, 50% of total disk volume you are getting. Two terabyte plus two terabyte become two terabyte of disk volume only. So D drive is two terabyte only. Like that, you will get it. One plus one, one. 2 plus 2, 2. 4 plus 4, 4. OK, so whatever it is, mirror volume. If one disk is failure, still we can able to access data. That is single disk failure without a parity. OK, so that is important. Ride 5. What is ride 5? We use three or more disks. In general, we use three disks for a ride 5. Combination of three disks and we will getting a two disk volume means one terabyte, one terabyte, one terabyte. So we'll get a two terabyte. If you put a two terabyte, two terabyte, two terabyte, we get a four terabyte. 
Okay, you put a four terabyte, four terabyte, four terabyte. We get eight terabyte. So two disk volume only we are getting. Next, it is a single disk failure without a parity. Means any of the disk is failure suddenly. Any of the disk is failure, no problem. Still we can able to access data. Still we can able to access the data. That is a another point. So second point is okay. Still we can able to access the data. Next, what is this parity? So data is is written into a disk, and the data parity bit stores in the other disk. Data parity bits stores in the other disk. The parity is is a kind of uh, binary calculated uh, com data format. Okay, it's a it's a like if you don't know about much parity, what is it? What is it? Instead of that one, simply say it is a binary. Uh, Calculated data from original data. Okay, parity calculated data from original data or compressed format of original data. Like you can tell if in case you know, people are putting a point on it, but originally that is again we have to go to how to do create a parity. What is MSB, LSB? There so many things will come up. So whatever it is, it is a compressed format of your data. Not exactly compressed also. Okay. But whatever it is, guys, whatever the data is written into a disk, any disk, any of the three disks, the data is packed a bit stores in the other disk. Advantage is if a disk is failure, still we can able to access data. You replace the disk with a new disk. You replace the faulty disk with a new disk. Data will be regenerated into the new disk. Regenerated into the new disk. So that is a write five. Guys, understand? Write five, write six. Yes, Sorry, write zero, write one, write five. Stripped volume, mirror volume, write five volume. Using server, our Windows server, we can able to manage it. So this is a come come. This is write redundant array of independent disk. I, I just I think I copied that one. Combination multiple disk into single logical unit to provide a fault tolerance and performance. Provide fault tolerance using disk mirroring and parity means write one and write five. Can provide performance benefits by spending disk I uh, cross I multiple disk configure using several different levels should not be replaced. Server backup, compulsory backup is backup only. Write zero, strip set without a parity or mirroring. Mirror drives, okay. So it is C A one, A two, A three, A four, A five, uh, A P. Okay. Parity distributed across all disk. Okay. Write six. Five disk will take it. Here it is taking six disk. It will take five disk minimum. Ride one zero combination of ride one and ride zero. So it is stripped. Stripped means ride zero. Okay. Second set is also ride zero. Ride zero, ride zero combined with ride one. Mirror disk. Okay, so this is your PPTs. Okay, if you want this part also, I will copy into our notepad. At a replacement of backup. So, stripped volume. I think I've written about a spanned volume. A span volume not right level first of all unequal and uh, equal size of volumes can take unequal and equal one terabyte five hundred. 1 terabyte, 2 terabyte, 2 terabyte, 100. Also, we can take it. Equal and unequal sizes of volumes, you can take it for combining. 
so combine two or more volumes or days and uh, become single large volume no parity no parity no disk failure any disk fail if any disk fail total that a last or we can't able to access data this is spanned volume now we'll come to write zero write zero is a stripped volume okay. try level zero we can combine to our more this our volumes and become single disk single large volume no parity no disk failure meaning is if any disk fail not access data and the data lost data lost single large volume fast um data access again power came <laughs> no parity no disk failure if you need if you need disk failure we can't access data data loss is also uh, occurs is called as stream okay same size disk volumes disk are a volume good okay Okay. Any other point I missed here? Okay. So same size is volumes. You should take it uh, fast and we create a. It's a only point is I want a very large disk. Then I will go to write zero. Write one. It's a mirror volume. Mirror. It is a com combination. Combine to our two days only. Combining two days only. Okay, it is a single disk failure. Single disk failure without parity. Okay, without a parity. Meaning is if any one of this. we can able to access data if any one of the disk failure we can able to access data no parity no parity same disk we have to take it okay so total size of total volume size is nothing but a 1 by 2 of total this size 
like that also we can take it. 1 by 2 of total day. OK, half of the total size or a single disk. Or you can say it is single disk size. Single volume size you will get it. OK, next. To replace of 40 disk. With new one. Mirror may bro. Mirror may bro. So that is the thing. next. Write file. Same thing only. I am repeating, guys. Okay. It's called a write file volume. What is the right file volume? Combine. Three or more. Actually, we take three disk. It is also a single disk failure. Okay. Without with parity. So when you say this one, so you have to write an example. Like I have taken two terabyte plus 2 terabyte equal to 2 terabyte. Okay. If any disk failed, you can be able to access that. That is important. Next. Total volume size equal to 2 by 3rd of total disk size or total volume size means 2 disk 2 disk size you will get example 2 terabyte plus 2 terabyte plus 2 terabyte Four terabyte. Next, what is this parity when data written in a disk? Parity of the data. Writes into other disk. So, if any disk failed and replace faulty disk with new disk, new disk data will. We generate into new disk using parity parity means parity bits are there. Okay. So this is the enterprise solution. The enterprise solution also right five is a enterprise solution so parity bits because of mirror not broken kind of stuff this is what i'm trying to say so next right six right six is semi right five only right five Volume only. This nothing but same. 
there is no right six. There is no right six. It's a right five only. So you add more days, then it is right six. Combine five days or more. It's a combination of five days. It's a two days failure. That is single disk failure. It's a two days failure. With parity. parity. If if two disk are failed, two disk are failed. Still, we can. Access data. Okay, so same thing, right? Five and right six. You want an example like a uh, total size, total volume size is example two TB plus two TB plus two TB. Yes, two TV. Yes, two TV. Is equal to six TV. Meaning is, you will get a three disk volume size. Total length it is three days. Three by five. Totally five we are using. We are getting three disk. As you were getting, okay, means three days. Okay, so this is it is a mirror set to to to. Stripped volumes. Okay, means write zero plus write zero. Okay, it is so simply write one. So write zero plus write zero is there. So we have to do write one to it. Okay, so that is a right zero. Direct option is not there. Right. So it's the same thing it is. Okay. Right five. It right five to super volume. So this is a totally right, guys. I have done practical. But not uh, last batch. Also, previous batch I have done practically. I have shown how to do write five. It purely depends upon your interest. Uh, like uh, uh, you want, a, uh, sir, I want a write five kind of stuff. Practical, so you want to see. I can able to show you. So it is very easy practical. Or you want to see once uh, how to do it. So actually, literally there is no practical for this topics. Okay. Okay, so this is storage practicals, right? If practicals are created, okay, complete is also there. Complete with theory practical is also there, and directive practicals also there. Okay, so that is completely depends upon you. So check it once if you want. I will show you afternoon how to do right five practical also. That's it for a ride. Theory. You tell me.
okay so this is right guys so that's it understand guys right five right one yes, right zero yes, flipped volume yes sir yeah, that's a important topic okay and also if in case you want want a more animated kind of stuff you want a more animated kind of stuff uh, you can go through this channel so usually i should not tell <laughs> okay as a trainer like you can gain knowledge from others so like that we should not tell but don't feel uh, that kind of stuff important is people should learn that is very important whatever it is it is coming even i open not open yeah this is python is very good from here where where is this web logic center here it is So this is my videos. What is this? If some nonsense, nonsense, everything is added. So this is uh, this is I open. This is. Nonsense. Yeah. So there's an animated kind of stuff. Yeah, this is the channel. So I'm searching for this channel. Okay. Power set animated videos. You know, uh, for a few things, it is very easy to understand. I think I already I told about this one or not. I didn't remember, but you can see what is uh, APIPA, what is gateway, what is gateway. Okay, what is public IP address? What is MAC address? What is LAN MAN? Okay, what is a wireless? Okay, what is Wi-Fi routers? What is router? What is switch hub? Here also you can find uh, uh, a yeah, DNS, NAT, DHCP. Okay, uh, you can uh, you can find uh, this SAN NAS kind of stuff. Okay, you can find SAN and NAS uh, ride concepts. Also, you can able to find from here how ping works what is firewall what is proxy server okay ride 5 ride 6 okay uh, you can find that one also here so san and nas okay san and nas you just you know uh, some people uh, uh, can understand uh, directly based on my notes and all. Some people uh, just they need uh, what we can see. OK. Um, some people just uh, need little animation kind of stuff. OK. Means very simplification. People think it is. They like a, a simplification. So what I'm trying to say is better go once. Important is we should learn. Okay. Thing is, we should learn that is like including wireless access point, wireless routers. Okay, so this channel is giving a lot of um, things in an animated way. That's the point. Okay, that's it. And I have a lunch. Come back at three o'clock. 